Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a pretty decent sized makeup haul because I went to an event and received some cool goodies. Um, I had a bunch of money in Ulta gift cards so I went and spent most of it and then my best friend gave me my Christmas present and birthday present really late and it happens to be some makeup. So I'm going to show you all of these goodies. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you is the goodies that I got at the Real Techniques event that I went to. If you didn't know that, then you obviously didn't watch my last video, so tis tisk. <laughs> but I will link it down below so you guys can see how I got ready for the event and some vlog footage and all that good stuff. So yeah, the event I went to was for the Real Techniques Bold Metals collection, which, oh my god, gorgeous. But yeah, they gave us the whole line in the goodie bag when we left, so I'll just show you all of the brushes. This first one is the one. 100, I think it's just called the powder brush, but I'm not sure, but everything I've mentioned in this video will be listed down below anyway. So yeah, these brushes are so soft. Like, oh my god, if you thought the Real Techniques brush brushes were soft like I did, these are even softer. I don't know how that's possible, but they're so freaking soft. Um, and the ferrules or these parts, like the handles, the hardware, is made out of brass and they're all different colors. So the face brushes are gold and then the eye brushes are silver and then the finishing brushes are rose gold, which these are definitely my favorite. Um, so yeah, like I said, 100 is the powder brush, which is awesome. I use it today as like a kind of bronzer brush. That's what I love about Real Techniques is that you can use the brushes for really anything you want. They do have a specific name, but they're obviously not limited to that one purpose, which I love about Real Techniques. So this one I use today as kind of a warm up the face bronzer type of brush. And then the next brush is the 101 and this is called the Triangle Foundation Brush. And I love the idea of this one. It's like flat on this side and then you turn it and it has two different angles. Like this one's flat and then it's and then this one's flat so it's definitely a triangle shape and I love this because um, the way Sam and Nick described it when they talked about the products at the event was that this side you can use for foundation and then like you could put your contour color on this triangle side and then your highlight color on this triangle side so you can do like a full like foundation highlight contour routine with this one single brush so I definitely have to try that out and let you guys know how I like that concept and then for the eye brushes this one is the 200 I think it's called the oval shadow brush and honestly I've actually been using this for like spot concealing with concealer and I really like it, it like blends out the concealer really nicely and like airbrushed so I do really like this one and then this one is the 201 I'm not I can't remember the name of it, but once again, it'll be listed down below. But I used this one as kind of a pencil brush the other day. And when you look at it, you think it might be too big, but it comes to a really nice point And it's actually really awesome as like a pencil brush, like to use under the eyes and stuff. So I really like this one. And then the other one is the 202. And this is like an angled liner brush. You can use this for your brows, which is what I used it for the other day with some brow powder. You can use it for obviously liner and you can use this for a lot of stuff. Okay. And then the finishing brushes are definitely my favorite of the line. The first one is the 300. Um, this is the blush brush and some people say it's a little bit too small for blush but I've been really liking it like that shape but if you think it's a little bit too small you can use it to set concealer under your eyes, you can use it to highlight, you can use it for a whole bunch of different things and it's so soft and the perfect shape and I love it. Okay and then the last brush from the line is the 301 and this is the flat contour brush. Oh my god this is probably my favorite brush in the whole line. It's like a lot thicker than most flat contour brushes but it's so soft and I actually did use it for contour today and I've been using it for a few days and I absolutely love it. Um, it picks up just enough product, it's not too much, but then you can go in and do your contour, get that ni nice precise line and then you use the same brush to blend it out and it's perfect, I love it. I also like it for contouring around the nose because if you use just the edge, it's like the perfect size. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into what I got from my best friend Amanda. She gave me a Christmas present. Well, I think it's like my, my Christmas and birthday present together. Um, and she works for Bloomingdale's Corporate, so she gets discounts on like everything at Bloomingdale's, including the makeup section. <laughs> so she went to the MAC counter at Bloomingdale's and picked me up a bunch of stuff, and I'm so excited. She is the best friend ever. Um, the first thing she got me, I don't actually know the name of it. Uh, this is the Objects of Affection Gold and Beige Pigments and Glitter set. This was like part of their holiday set. And can, like, can we talk about this box? Like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm in love. Um, but yeah, when you open it, it's got five different pig or four pigments and one glitter. So let's see, what are the pigments names? This one is Lith. Looks like a nice kind of satin cream. 
Um, this one is English Gilt, which is a really pretty bronze color. I'm going to love that one. I can already tell. Um, this one is called Pretty It Up. It kind of looks like Utopia Pigment from Makeup Geek, so obviously I'm going to love that one. Um, and then this is just the Gold Glitter. I've always wanted to try MAC Glitter, so I'm super excited about this. And then the last one is called Deep Brown, and I think it's a matte. Yeah, it's like a matte deep brown pigment. So yeah, I'm super excited about this set. I think it's sold out like everywhere. So that's really cool that she found it. Yeah, I've never tried MAC pigments or glitters before, so I'm super excited that she got this for me. Um, and then she got me some Fix Plus, which she didn't know if I like liked this or anything. The girl at the counter, she said the girl at the counter just told her that it was like a good selling product and she should get it. And I was like, girl, I really need a refill of this. So good thinking. <laughs> yeah, but apparently it has new packaging now. I kind of like the new packaging a lot. But yeah, I needed some new Fix Plus, so I'm super excited about this. Um, and then she got me these number what number are they these are the number 36 lashes i've always wanted to try mac lashes as well so i'm super excited about this they really remind me of like the number 43s from red cherry which are one of my faves so so excited i've been saying excited a lot it's it's like annoying me i know it's probably annoying you too so i'll try to stop <laughs> and then the last thing i got from mac is this dazzle glass in the shade Fan fun tabulous which oh my god that is so gorgeous it's coming off a lot more purple on camera and it's a little bit more like a brighter pink in person but yeah I'm so excited about this I think this is like perfect to put on top of a like bright lip gloss I mean a bright lipstick just to give it a really cool like duochrome sparkle and they smell so good okay so everything else in this haul is going to be from Ulta because I had like a lot of money in gift cards so I went ahead and spend it the first thing I got is this Kenra Platinum blow dry mist this is just the travel size but I've heard a lot of good things about this and I'm like a fanatic about blow drying my hair so I definitely was looking for some cool for some good products to up my blow dry game and I think I use it today and I have to say my blowout is looking pretty fabulous. <laughs> Like literally nothing beats a good blowout. I can't even stress you enough. Like earlier when I washed my hair, my hair was all curly and frizzy and I felt like a like not a human being. And now that I have my hair blown out. By the way, how do you guys like my hair without my extensions? Putting my extensions in lately has been like such a pain. Like I just don't want to do it. So I figured why not try out a short hair video? Not even short, because my hair really is growing, but Tell me how you like it because I might stop wearing my extensions for all my videos because it's such a pain putting them on just to take them off after but I do it for you. The next thing I got was just a refill of my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I get the one in the shade Soft Brown and I swear to god guys like I can't live without this thing it's really a problem. I ran out for like a week and I was dying like dying dying. I even like stole my mom's and like hoarded it so that I could have my brows on. <laughs> That's really a problem. I need like rehab, brow rehab. Be forewarned, if you ever buy a brow wiz, you're never going back. Re be ready to commit $20 probably a month, every two months, to get a new brow wiz because it's an addiction. Okay, the next thing I got was this new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I had never heard anything about this, but I went to the Smashbox display and I was like, what is this? Like... I dig it. So I sprayed it on my face in the store and it smells really good. It smells kind of like lemony and herbally in one. I don't know. It smells really good. And when I sprayed it on my skin, it felt so nice and refreshed. So I got this. I can't tell you how it works to like keep my makeup on any longer. It says it should, but I can't tell you if it works or not yet because I put it on today but I haven't really been out of the house today so I can't tell you that like I just did my makeup and it's 11 o'clock at night um so yeah I will let you guys know probably in another makeup tutorial or a favorites or something whether this works or not but I had never heard of it like at all oh it says tip keep it cool for an extra refreshing ultra cooling mist store in the fridge if i stored that in the fridge my brother would probably drink it and then yell at me for putting my makeup in the fridge so let's not okay so the other thing i got that's also smashbox yeah also smashbox is this smashbox studio skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation and it's what i'm wearing on my skin today and i got the shade 1.2 because lately i've been realizing that all of my foundations are all way too dark for me and it's become a problem so if i look really pale in this video it's because i've actually matched my foundation to my skin rather than all of the rest of my videos because seriously i don't know what happened all of my foundations are so dark for me so i obviously needed a new one but yeah i 
can say, I have it on my skin right now, when I first put it on I didn't like it, but now that it's kind of set and synced into my skin, I'm liking it more and more. It's, um, yeah, I don't understand it though, it's a 15 hour hydrating foundation, but it's a matte finish, so that's kind of confusing to me, but I can say I like it so far. I'll let you know probably in another video or favorites or something. But yeah, I wanted to try out Smashbox foundation because I have another one. It's way too dark for me. <laughs> but um, I've been liking Smashbox a lot, a lot more as a brand like in the past few months. So I wanted to give a foundation a try. Um, the next thing I got was what's on my lips right now. And this is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. I've seen a few people on Instagram, I think, and then my friend Elba here on YouTube, El Elba Navarro. She wore... She wears this a lot in her, not a lot in her videos, but I've seen it in her videos and I love the color on her and I kind of am digging the color on me like a lot. Um, it reminds me of Lolita, but like more everyday appropriate because especially on my skin tone, Lolita can be a little bit too dark, a little bit too like in your face. So I feel like this is like a little bit toned down Lolita, which I dig because I want to wear Lolita every day, but apparently that's not appropriate according to my mother. But yeah, I got this because, I don't know, I was digging the color and liquid lipsticks lately are my jam. Um, the next thing I got was this NYX Roll-On Shimmer in the shade Salmon. Because if you guys remember in my pink and purple Jaclyn Hill Favorites tutorial, I used um, one of these Roll-On Shimmers in the shade Platinum. And I really, really liked the finish that it gave. So I went and looked at the shades. And this one was definitely my favorite because, well, hello, it's like a rose gold. And who doesn't love a rose gold? I'm honestly obsessed with like rose gold shadows lately. It's a problem. Yeah, so I wanted to give this a try and I'm glad I picked it up. Um, and then the next thing I got, I finally picked up the Lorac Pro Palette 2. I was gonna get the one and the two, but I looked at the original Pro Palette and I was like, I'm not really into you. Like, you're kind of basic. <laughs> I sound like I'm on a bad date. Um, so yeah, it comes with the behind the scenes eye primer, which I liked. It just reminds me of like the Urban Decay primer potion. It's like clear and like, I don't know, nothing special, but keep your eyeshadow on. So that's all that matters. And then look at this palette. Like these shades are gorgeous. Like some of them are shades I probably have 18, 18 different shadows of, but a lot of these shades in here, I don't really have any, like any colors that look like this like the navy i don't have anything like oh i fucking dug my nail into it i'm such a dick oh damn it i do that every time i get a new palette what is my problem so yeah like i said let's try not to dig my nail in this time i got so yeah this navy is something like i don't really have any of um the plum very unique um, there's a rose color, like I said before, rose gold shadows are my jam. Um, this mocha one is gorgeous. I have it on my lid right now. This cocoa one is beautiful. The jade, the chrome, just like all of this nectar shade. Uh, I just, all of them. It gave me life when I looked at it and I was like, I need you. And then the last thing I got was this mini Lorac tantalizer. Um, I, I was at the Lorac counter when I was, um, looking at that pro palette and I saw that they had a ginormous one of these. Like when I say ginormous, I mean like three times the size of this. It was like ginormous. Um, but then when I went to check out, I saw that they had a mini one and I was like, oh, I can do that. <laughs> $12, I can definitely do that. And I have the bronzer on today and the highlight. I have to say, I really like the bronzer, but the highlight, it's... But yeah, the highlighter is pretty subtle. And you guys know how I feel about my highlighter. I like it to be wham bam in your face. So this is going to be like for subdued days, which is not very many days of my life. But yeah, maybe I'll layer it with like a cream highlight underneath and see how that works. But I do really like the bronzer. It's a really nice shade and it was really easy to blend out and stuff. So yeah, I recommend if you go to Ulta and you want to try out this tantalizer thing, go to the checkout center and see if they have the mini one because it's only $12. And come on, let's be honest, who's going to use that big of a freaking bronzer thing? That went by a lot quicker than I thought. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for my haul. Just some quick announcements before I sign off. This background is probably going to be gone very soon. Not that I'm like moving into another room or like moving at all. But my mom wants this vanity over here because she hates her vanity. And let's be honest, I'm collecting too much makeup to fit in these Alex 9 drawers, so I need more storage. So I'm going to give her this vanity. I keep pointing to the wrong side. I'm going to give her this vanity. Then I'm probably going to get like a tabletop and... um like two more small Alex drawers under it and then put this this big baby like 
somewhere on another wall. So yeah, you're not going to see this background for much longer, but I'm going to really try to make it like super spiffy and nice. I think I'm going to build like a big, like a vanity girl type mirror with like the big lights and everything, which I think is going to look super pretty. But yeah, I'm, I've been kind of hating my background lately. Like it just looks not so special. So I'm really excited to like revive my room and make it look fancier for you guys in videos. Maybe like play up with like lights and decor and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see an updated makeup collection and vanity tour and all that when it's done. Um, maybe I'll do a whole room tour if I ever clean my room that is. What you guys see back here is nothing compared to over here. This is a mess. <laughs> oh my god I almost forgot to announce the giveaway winner. Oh my god, imagine. Okay, yeah. So, but yeah, you guys have all been waiting to hear who's winning that Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. So, without any further ado, you have won. I don't know your name yet because I haven't picked it, but whatever is here, that's you. You won. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, so I will probably contact you via Facebook or no, not Facebook, via Instagram or Twitter to get your address and your information. Or if you want to, if you see this video first and I haven't contacted you, then just go ahead and hit me up on Instagram or Twitter so I can get your address and send that baby to you because I'm super excited for you to have it. And thank you for everyone that entered the giveaway. I had really good feedback on that video and on the giveaway a lot of you entered, so I was super excited about it. And it makes me want to do a lot more giveaways for you guys in the near future. Also, thank you guys for 8,000 subscribers. I'm super excited about it. Thank you so, so much. All of you mean the world to me. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you, and I'm really honestly shocked people like me. Another thing, guys, during my time here on YouTube, I've had quite a few comments regarding this scar here on my eye and what I can do to cover it up, and I should do my makeup just on this eye and this one first so that I only show this eye in the video and all that jazz. And quite honestly, it pisses me off. Like, I'm being 100 right now. Quite honestly, it makes me angry. Not because I'm insecure about the scar whatsoever, because if I'm being honest, I have way way more scars on my body than probably anybody in this world. But the thing about scars is they're nothing you should be ashamed of, and I sure as hell am not. If anything, scars are part of my life story and part of who I am today, and I'm not going to go too much into that. If you follow me on social media, then you probably know somewhat of what I'm talking about, but, but people keep mentioning my scar, and so I just, I'd like to address. <laughs> address it basically. Um, I had stitches in my eye because of an accident I was in and quite frankly it doesn't bother me so I don't see why it should bother other people and if you're really paying attention to my makeup tutorial then it shouldn't bother you but I don't want to be mean about it whatsoever but it just bothers me because if it doesn't bother me then why should it bother you? That's all I'm saying. And it's also like if you don't have that same scar on your eye, why does it matter? If you're going to recreate my makeup look, then it shouldn't matter what my eye looks like because it's not your eye. If you have scars, I feel your pain, girl. It's not really pain, though, because you should be proud of them. They tell they tell a story of who you are, what, the, what you've been through, and all that jazz. So you should be proud of your scars, if anything. I know I am. If you want to see a few of mine. And it goes all the way up my arm. And then I have a huge scar. It's about 13 inches long along my bra line. I also have a, quite a few inch long scars along the sides of my chest. I have a scar right here from when, I can't remember what it was, but I have a lot of scars and I'm proud of each and every one of them because I've been through a lot and if I didn't have those scars, I'd probably be dead. So you should be proud of your scars. But yeah, guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching and I love you. Bye.